My name is Sarah Schneider. I am a nurse in the emergency department here. I'm here today to go over an arterial line setup. So to start, we have all of the things that we need to gather, including our cables, how we're going to secure the line, and then our priming with a half liter normal saline and then our pressure tubing. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is open up my pressure tubing. These yellow caps are important for the very end, so don't get rid of them. Now, there's extra tubing on here that we will need to take off just to make things easier later. So I'm going to put that cap on there instead, and this just becomes trash. And then I'm gonna take off this piece right here And then I'm gonna secure that on there. Okay, so we have our tubing. Save these caps and we'll get rid of this. We're gonna open up our normal saline. Now, there's two schools of thought here. One, you can get the air out right away. The other, which we will do, is we'll get the air out on the actual pressurizing. Okay. We'll take our pressure bag. Put it in this hook here and then we're going to Velcro that in. Now, the next thing we're gonna do is invert, and then we're going to use our pressure gauge here to inflate like So now we'll inflate and we're gonna go up to just a little bit over 300 millimeters of mercury on our gauge. Okay. Now I like to, at this point, lock off so no air can escape. Now we can invert and this is the part where we're going to pressurize this cable. Now, the reason that we invert is because we have air here. Air is lighter than the fluid, so we're gonna watch the air escape as we are pressurizing our cable. Once we feel like we have all the air out of the bag, we're gonna re-invert, and then we're going to hang it up at this point, we can check and make sure we're still at that 300 mark. We're a little bit below it, so I'll put just a little bit more air in it. Good, and then I'm gonna lock it off. Now, the most common place that we're gonna see air is in this transducer right here. So if we invert it again and then squeeze, we'll see that all of the air will come out. Good. And play around with it until you see that there is no air. That's the most important part. And then in this tubing, I find a little bit of air still. So I'm just going to run it through like that. Now, at this point, we have a fully pressurized line. We check again to make sure that we're at the 300 millimeters of mercury, which we are. And we are ready to hand it to the provider the final step is replacing our vented caps with our caps that are not vented. So basically just taking off the, the white caps and replacing them with the yellow caps. So to do this, we're gonna turn it off. We're gonna squeeze fluid through, and then we're going to replace it with a cap that is not vented. And then we can go ahead and open it back up. And we're gonna do the same thing down here make sure we have fluid out 
and then we're going to replace it with that cap that is not vented. So that is everything that we need to do to pressurize our line, get it set up for the provider who is currently putting in that arterial line. So do one final step, make sure you don't have any air in your tubing. And then this you will hand over to get tied up to the art line, most likely in the radial artery. Okay, so now that we have our art line in place, we're going to go through the steps of securing it. We have a central line CG, CHG dressing that we're gonna open. And this just helps to cushion the transducer for patient comfort. So I'm gonna stick it on my patient here. It doesn't matter up or down. Okay, and then I'm gonna get all the tape, paper off. Perfect. And now, this part here, I grab my cable, and I'm going to twist and lock this cable in like this. So you'll feel that there's no uh, resistance on it. Now, I can take my tape, just regular old tape, and get some strips of it to secure. Okay. So I know that I want my butterfly wings up. And so I'm just gonna tape right over that connecting piece. like that. Okay, so now that we have everything secured, we are ready to plug into our monitor. To do that, we grab our adapter and our cable, plug this in, and then it goes over to our monitor where it gets plugged in. We should see the arterial line set up like it is here. So the last step is we hit this box. So we will zero our art line by closing it off to the patient, twisting off our yellow cap, opening it to just atmospheric air, and then we will zero. We'll, it'll say zero, zeroed. We are ready to begin monitoring now. So after we have completed our art line setup, we have it zeroed, we can now check to see our correlation by putting a blood pressure cuff on and ensuring that both are within five to 10 millimeters of mercury um, from each other. Okay, so we can go through our normal process of starting up our blood pressure. Always do it on the opposite arm if possible.